Amari Hendricks, y'all. She pulled a gun and assaulted the McDonald's employee all because she thought she's supposed to have a free cookie. And she is a fast food worker herself. Says it sounds like you was having a real bad day, but you can't do stuff like this. Not only was she in the drive-thru and loaded the gun, y'all, she then went inside and assaulted them. Anything could have happened. At this McDonald's on State Road 434 near 436. There is an allegation of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon without the intent to kill. 24-year-old Amari Hendricks, a fast food manager herself, it turns out, went before a judge Friday afternoon. Police say an upset Hendricks thought she was entitled to a free cookie. Next thing McDonald's workers see is that Hendricks allegedly has a handgun um, while she's in the drive through So they call 911. The report says a worker sees Hendricks insert a magazine into the handgun and rack the slide. Then here's clicking sounds associated with someone chambering around. The employees that were there, the drive through were in fear. I mean, you can only imagine. I mean, it's, it's a handgun. It put anyone uh, most likely in fear. In fact, one worker stated she was in fear for her life. The report says Hendricks did point the firearm towards the drive through window. One worker saying he could see down the barrel of the firearm. Initially brought to the Seminole County Jail being held without bond, the judge did set bonds this afternoon totaling just over $30,000, telling Hendricks that if she's released, there would be other conditions. And you are to possess no firearms or ammunition as a condition of your release. Police say Hendricks drove out of the drive through parked and walked to the door. A worker tried to lock her out, but failed, according to police. Ends up making contact with one of the employees and gets into physical altercation. Uh, thankfully, the employees, the employee, all employees are okay. Okay, but the report says a worker did have scratches on his face and neck. In Aldemont Springs, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.